In this video, I'll take a look at the shading design wizard within inside the Ecotech environment and how we can use this wizard to optimize our design, not only simple shading devices, but as well how we can use this tool for optimizing the envelopment, identify the most important areas of shading in our design project. I have now opened the Ecotech environment. At a very conceptual stage, we can use the shading design wizard within inside Ecotech to do multiple things. We can project a cutting plane or we can extrude for solar envelopment, making a really a extruded object of the sun path that we can use to cut off our geometry. And we can generate an optimized shading device for understanding what kind of shading will be most effective, but also to get inspiration to how to build up our envelopment, overhangs, stuff like that. And we can again, when we have generated the optimized shading, we can go in and have a look at where is the most potential to minimize the shading to not have something that it's really out of control. Okay, so just did a very simple model here and some of the first steps that you'll have to take is to examine the uh, comfort within inside the space in regarding to daylighting, in regarding to, to the thermal conditions within inside the space. So one of the first thing I'll do is I'll go to analysis and I just did a very quick study of the heating and cooling loads to identify if I had any cooling loads during the summer. Uh, so now that I see that for this specific period here from, from May till beginning of August, I do have some cooling needs within inside the zone. And if we go to visualize and we turn on the daily and annual sun path and display our shadows, it's pretty logical what is really going on here. Because of this big window here to the south, during the summer months we'll get a lot of passive heat from the sun into the building, into the space. So let's go back to the 2D editor, let's turn off these things here, and let's just try to work with this in different ways. One of the things that we can do is we can mark the window and say, okay, if for the specific period here, I want to make a shading device, um, I can then go to calculate shading design wizard and I can just generate optimal shading device. Because I know that this is a summer month, I want to narrow this down to be from May till September and I want to have it down, for example, on from 10th to 16th, okay, like this. Let's just say, okay, what kind of shading device do we want to look at? Because the sun is quite high, I just want to look at a horizontal shade here. So just to the next and make sure, because there's a little bark here, so make sure that it's selected here in uh, the summary page and just say, okay. <coughs> and what I want to do now, it's just go here and just call the shading, optimal shading, mark this element, our new shading device and move object to like that. And then I can turn on this contact element here. So what has happened now is that maybe it's not possible to make a shading device like this, but this gives us some inspiration or some help to understand what kind of overhang, what a kind of neighboring building should we have to avoid any kind of direct solar penetrating the room within this time span. So if we'll go to, for example, to July, and will be between 10 and in the time span I selected, you'll see that the window will be totally shaded within inside the time period that I specified. So what we can do now is that we could go to a draw rectangular zone and we can just go here, we could go to a plan view F5 and say, okay, this is the span for the next part of our, our envelopment here. And we could go to F8, go up again, and we could go to draw rectangular zone and we can say, okay, I want to make a zone up here. So now I'm actually able to go in and turn off this here and see that now, let's go to the Visualize tab, I really created the same conditions just with the building itself. So really this just gives an, uh, us an idea to how to optimize the envelopment and how to, what kind of shading device we want to look at. So let's go in and let's turn off these two zones here, turn on the shading device. Okay, let's imagine that this shading device is a bit too big and I want to identify which area of the shading device is most important. So I go to the window, say calculate shading design wizard and I just say project shading potential. Make sure that the window is marked. Calculate shading design wizard. Generate 
generate project solar potential, say OK. And just here I have the same period and just say OK. So now I give, get an idea of, OK, I want to really reduce this shading device to, to this area here. So you'll see that this is a way that we can really get some help and some inspiration to how to do shading design with inside EcoTech.